the conservation team here at Hispanic Access Foundation wanted to show you how easy it is to call your member of Congress and tell them what you think about an issue. It's as simple as calling the Congressional Switchboard number 202-224-3121 or looking up your Senator's phone number on Senate.gov or your Representative's phone number on House.gov. When calling your Congressional office, ask to speak to the aide who handles your issue if they're available. Tell them you're a constituent and who you're affiliated with, if that's applicable. Be clear about the issue or the list of issues that you're calling about and get straight to the point. Tell them what you'd like the member of Congress to do and why it's important to you in just a few sentences. Make sure to thank them. Even if you generally disagree with your member of Congress, these offices work really hard every day. And lastly, if you're leaving a voicemail, make sure to give your address and your phone number so that the office can tally your call. It is so important to make these calls because Congress members often rely on their constituents when they form their position on an issue. You can be one of those constituents that is helping to form your Congress member's opinion or even raise their awareness of an issue. You'll be taking part in our democratic process and helping legislation get passed or even blocked. How cool is that? If you call Congress during Latino Advocacy Week, let us know. You can record yourself making the call and share it on social media, or just tag us at Hispanic Access. Make sure you tag your Congress member too. You can use the hashtag, hashtag LAW2021 or hashtag Latino Advocacy Week, and we'll make sure to promote your message. Here's an example. Hi. My name is Jessica Godinez and I am calling Senator Mark Warner as a constituent of Virginia. It is very important to me that Senator Mark Warner support the Environmental Justice for All Act. Passing the Environmental Justice for All Act will fight for clean air, clean water, and a healthy environment while addressing systemic racism, which is imperative for addressing the climate injustices facing our nation. Environmental racism fuels disparities in environmental and public health, and its impacts can be seen across society. The Environmental Justice for All Act can be a great tool in that fight. Please support and pass the Environmental Justice for All Act. Thank you for your hard work, for your time, and your attention today. Goodbye.